Congratulations, gentlemen. You've just made your first number one. George Martin said this as the band had finished work on their song, Please Please Me. The song began life, as most early tracks did, in John's bedroom. As he put it, I wrote in the bedroom in my house at Men Love Avenue, which was my auntie's place. I remember the day and the pink coverlet on the bed, and I heard Roy Orbison doing Only the Lonely or something like that. That's where that came from. And also, I was always intrigued by the words of Please Lend Me Your Little Ears to Me Please, a Bing Crosby song. I was always intrigued by the double use of the word please, so it was a combination of Bing Crosby and Roy Orbison. Originally, the song had a much slower, blues, dreary feel to it, something that George Martin didn't think would be a worthy follow-up to the band's previous hit, Love Me Do. Paul McCartney said, We sang it, and George said, Can we change the tempo? And we said, Well, what's that? He said, Make it a bit faster. Let me try it. And he did. We thought, Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Actually, we were a bit embarrassed that he had found a better tempo than the one we had. George Martin rearranged the track and the group even recorded it with drummer Andy White. This version would be scrapped and was thought to be lost until it was uncovered years later and would be added to Anthology. While the single had a standard release in the United Kingdom, in the US, things were a little bit more messy. No record companies wanted to release it until VJ came along. You should watch my video on the Beatles and VJ for the full story. The radio station WLS would be the first to play the single in the United States and thus be the first to play the Beatles in the United States ever. When it was released by VJ, they misspelled the Beatles with two Ts. This, of course, makes the single a collector's item. The single would be re-released in the United States after I Want to Hold Your Hand was a major hit. The song proved to be such a hit that George Martin brought the group off a tour with Helen Shapiro to come into the studio to record the full album. So what do you think about this song? Leave your comment below. Also, do you have a suggestion of what I should talk about next? Leave that in your comment as well. Thank you again so much for watching. Please help support this channel by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you guys next time.